Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, my name is Heather. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kids, elementary and high school age. Today is going to be a weekly plan with me and it's a busy week, it really is. It's a busy month, actually. If you saw my October monthly reset, you will know that I was making a lot of doctor's appointments and such, and they kind of start this week, but then we also have a bunch of other events and are actually kind of the tail end of this week, the beginning of next week. So I am having to rearrange things just a little bit, but I am, <laughs> I'm excited about a lot of the things that we're doing. So that's always a good thing. I am using my A5 Daily Duo from Erin Condren and also my 7x9 Vertical Weekly Planner, also from Erin Condren. I absolutely love this system for planning. I got my first Erin Condren Weekly Planner back in 2014. And then the following year, I started using a daily notepad scheduler that turned into the undated daily petite planners. And then eventually when Erin Condren released the daily duo, I started using that. However, next year I am going to be using this beautiful B5 vertical common planner from Sterling Inc. I'm really excited about it. I don't know how it will go. I do have all of my planners for 2025 from Erin Condren. So it's always subject to change, but I think that being in one planner for all of my personal planning as well as some of my journals that I keep that are separate. I, I think it's going to work really well. We shall see. I need to find my pen though first. So the first thing that I do when I am doing my weekly planning is a brain dump. So that is what I'm going to do first and figure out what I have on the plan for the week ahead. Okay, so I have my brainstorm list done and I feel like I feel like there's more stuff that I just I'm not thinking about right now. I have the worst headache <laughs> at the moment, but it is the time that I have to plan because everything is so crazy this week and next week. So the first thing that I'm going to do is figure out my home management tasks for the week. We will see how this goes because tomorrow and Tuesday I have dentist appointments for the kids, which is such a pain, but it is what it is. I don't usually like to have appointments at the beginning of the week or in the morning when we're doing homeschool because it throws off our whole week. So we will see, we'll see. Okay, so we have Monday reset and that is really just whatever I have not done during the weekend. I try and finish it up on Monday. Sometimes that's laundry. Sometimes it's, I don't know, random stuff. Sometimes it's food because I didn't go grocery shopping or whatnot. I don't think I have too much for tomorrow. We'll see. And then dust furniture. I don't have anything on Tuesday. Wednesday is clean electronic screens. Thursday, restock toilet paper, which is something Lucy does, spend tracking, sort and file, paperwork, sheets, goals check, Friday, wash floors, clean bathrooms. All right, I totally forgot to do the weather, so let's do that. Well, tomorrow it's supposed to rain, and so that might be why I have such a headache today. <laughs> I'm definitely one of those people that gets headaches related to weather. I wish it wasn't the case, but it is. And I feel like as I've gotten older, it gets worse, but I don't know. That probably is just made up in my head. This 39 degrees, I think my heat's gonna start kicking on. We, we have our heat set to 60, so I think that it probably will go below 60. These don't look like very friendly non-heat temperatures next week. It will probably warm up a little, but you know. Um, okay, so I have passion projects here. That's a day that we just focus more on passion projects than mom school, mom homeschool. Uh, screen free day here and homeschool dance is here. It is six to 10. That should be fun. 
We have pellet stove cleaning here, 2.30. Sunday, we leave for Emma's first college visit. And if you watch any of my homeschool videos, not just my planning videos, you will know that she's in her last year of homeschool, but she is a year early. So she hasn't been sure if she wanted to do college or not. Um, right now, she's really focused on her writing. She's interested in the Authors Conservatory, which is a three-year writing program where you write two novels, you contribute to several uh, anthologies of short stories, you create your own business and make that profitable, and also spend a good chunk of time being mentored by industry professionals. So that's great. It's very expensive and it's not a college program. And she, so she's just not sure. There's a lot of options. Probably should do a video about all the different options, but I actually had coffee with uh, one of my very good friends and Emma and her daughter are very good friends. And she mentioned, well, you could do buddy visits if Emma wants to do some buddy visits to colleges. And uh, so that got us to thinking and talking and this particular visit is not going to be a buddy visit, but it's going to be to where Matt and I graduated from college, which is Gordon College in Massachusetts. So that'll be a fun first college visit, I think. Uh, so we are going to go down to Massachusetts and for a couple of days and do that. So it should be a fun time. This week I have a homeschool plan with me, break week vlog, daily vlog. I have homeschool update, collaboration, and then my last break week daily vlog here. I have my live stream at 2.30. Might be having dinner with friends on Thursday. So these are just the Discovery of Witches chapters for the real-time read-along. I think that's what it's called. This happens every September through October. It actually ends on November 1st, and it's just reading chapters from A Discovery of Witches that are happening on those particular days. So I do it pretty much every year just because I love that book and it's a lot of fun to go through. I'm going to write homeschool every day. It is it is a busy week for being out of the house. So when I sit down after this to do my homeschool planning, that is going to be interesting. I think maybe the library on Wednesday. I have to bring some library books back, but I have to finish the library books that I have <laughs> before I can return them. And I have not been reading barely at all lately. Honestly, it's it's bad. My list for the trip. Ooh, when am I gonna get snacks? Actually, I also need to put CSA and food prep here. Okay, now what am I gonna do for food this week? Oh goodness. I think that tomorrow I'm going to do soup. Bean burritos we have almost every Tuesday. Leftovers. Thursday. If I can make something for Thursday through Saturday. Do I want to do shepherd's pie maybe? Leftovers. And then pizza. And then we're going to be gone on Sunday so I don't need to worry about food. Just snacks for that that day. I'm really enjoying all of these sticker books from Cultivate What Matters. I think they're lovely and it's definitely a lot of fun for me to to use them. I just really like them quite a bit. Okay guys, here is my weekly plan with me for the 7th through the 13th. It is a busy week. The appointments at the beginning of the week and the events Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's just going to make things a little chaotic, I think. Um, it is, it, yeah, and it is what it is, but I, <laughs> I am looking forward to our next break week which is coming up soon and I'm going to need it to recover from all of these things that we've been doing. All lots of fun things, but as a very low energy person, it is a struggle for me to keep up with it all and then still be positive and get all of my home stuff done as well. I'm really excited about our college visit. Emma definitely is, which is 
I think it's funny because she was pretty adamant that she didn't want to go to college next year. And so, which is totally fine. Like I said, she's a year early, so I don't necessarily want her to go away to college next year. You know, we may end up doing some sort of entrepreneurial year where she starts her own business or she takes kind of a gap year or she takes classes at the community college. We'll see. I mean, there's, there's so many options. Like I said, I probably should do a whole video on that, but this is my week at a glance for this coming week wish me luck and I will have a video posted next week with my week of daily plans so you can see how things actually turn out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about, please let me know in the comments or you can email me. My contact form is always in the description box. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.